This knife may be the most expensive knife I've ever done, all because of this stone. All right, first of all, forget the background noise. I know there's a dog barking and a chicken uh, cockadoodle doing. So, we do have something that's very special for you today. We're gonna do a buck 110, which everybody seems to love, but we're also gonna do Sonoran Sunrise. Now, what's really cool about Sonoran Sunrise is from my understanding now, I may be wrong, but the mine has run dry on this. Uh, and I believe, from what I understand, is it run dry in 2012. Uh, very popular stone when it first come out really cool but I haven't really seen uh, or haven't really done knife handles out of them so I'm kind of excited to get into this and start doing some knife handles with this piece uh, you can already tell from just the colors on it alone that this is gonna be a beautiful stone so let's go ahead and get into it all right so the first thing we're gonna do whenever it comes to this is we're gonna take the scales off should be pretty easy so let's go ahead and use our cutoff wheel and our Dremel. And uh, always put your mask on. You don't want those metal, metal shavings getting in your lungs, do terrible damage. As you see here, I'm gonna be starting to take these buck scales off right here. And that's a very important step, obviously. But whenever you take them off, try to keep them as intact as possible because then you can glue them onto the stone and have like a guide when you're getting the stone down to its right size. I just find it a lot easier. Um, it's, it's, and it makes it much neater, if that makes sense. But I also want to talk a little bit about the stone here. Now, the stone Sonoran Sunrise, from my understanding, the miners went dry a few years ago. And a lot of people, when this thing was coming out of the ground, people were just buying it up left and right. And uh, when they buy it up left and right like that, and it goes dry you have a hard time finding rough and i was able to find rough through our friends at copper canyon lapidary this is not a sponsored thing they've just been my friends since i've started with it so you know giving them a shout out but especially when you try to find sonoran sunrise with that pretty red and then the black and the blues all in there i mean it's extremely rare to find i mean it's it's coming off slowly slowly but surely I got you here make sure to like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and it helps us grow and as we grow we can do more fun and exciting things I also want to talk about some of the things we got coming up in the future so I plan on interviewing uh, the people from Copper Canyon Lapidary they're the ones that initially gave me the initial information they helped me learn about stones I mean they really helped me learn everything um, and they also got a great website for you to buy stones, roughs, things like that. Really good people. I'm really happy that I get to do this interview with them. And maybe it helps y'all get some useful information if you're wanting to get in the lapidary. And if not, maybe it's something cool. You can learn about it. But uh, really great people. And I really do hope that you enjoy the interview with them. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the brass pins. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you get those brass pins all the way out so that hole is completely empty. Because if you manage to leave one in on accident and you put everything together, get your stone together, everything's looking great and nice. But that pin falls loose behind there in some way and then it gets in between your lock bar and your spring. The knife will never close properly like it should. It'll just hang loose. And we definitely don't want that, especially after all the time and effort you put into doing this. The last thing you want is to have that happen and then it's unsafe to use or it just looks bad in general. We're gonna put our spring back in there. Uh, hopefully the right way this time. Spring's back in there. I'm going to put our lock bar back in there and I just sit, I always sit my lock bar a little bit forward in the process. So what I'm doing here is after I've gotten everything cleaned up, I'm putting the lock bar, pin, and spring back into the knife itself 
and getting every situ everything situated. Now, with this vise, what you would want to do is put some leather, put some something that's still going to give some pushback on the knife so you can get it situated well, but doesn't scar the metal. We definitely don't want to scar the metal on. And if you do, then that's just extra grinding you got to do to kind of get it looking nice and pretty at the end of it. So we definitely don't want to do that. And uh, make sure that that lock pin is sitting just a little bit below the metal. Uh, that way, when you put the stone on, it makes a tight, good seal, and there's no gaps. Uh, the big thing is we, we don't want, we want to minimize gaps as much as possible. Making it work even with a little bit of space, just fine. I think we can do it. We've done so many of these, y'all, that uh, I think we can do it. Especially if y'all give me some encouragement. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this down the center, get these pieces separated, cut some of this off, kind of trim it down the best we can with the tile saw, and then. We will take it out here, clean up its back. That way it sits flat onto the knife and then clean up this, uh, the sides here. So that way it fits perfectly on the knife. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this down the center. Again, like I said, I was a little worried about space, but I think we'll be good now. Uh, just take a little kind of working around here. But we can do that. We'll go ahead and put the mask on. So what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna flatten these stones out on the back here and make sure that they fit just right. That has got to be one of the easiest cutting stones I have done. That was extremely quick. And I am uh, kind of amazed. Okay. Everything seems to be snug. Everything's sitting pretty. So, let's go ahead and get these into the house and get these glued up. You got to acetone them. Acetone will get the scales off. All right, so you have no more guides, but that's okay. Because now your knife is your guide. Um, and then we can glue them on. So, let's go ahead and get them in the house and start acetoning them. 
All right, so we're back and we're ready to put the gemstones onto the knives themselves. We're gonna use our epoxy 330. Adding this in later, but this is my wife's favorite part. It is our happy little bonding agent. There's our hardener. Where's it a hardener? No, I think it's the bonnet. That's all right. Here we go. Mix all this up. Till it's kind of cloudy. All right, then we got our knife. You want to make sure that you got it on the right spot. It fits well. And then make sure the other side fits well. So they're good matches. Plenty of glue here. Plenty of that epoxy. All right, so now we got plenty of epoxy on here. We're just gonna lay it down on here. There we go. Make sure it's nice and squished. side now this one's a little tighter than the other one they both fit tight but this one's a little tighter than the other one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this side face down the side that's already face down will be continue to be laid face down and then that way so I know that stone's not gonna like shift it's pretty tight in there and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide this in there. Make sure it's got seated properly. Looks like it is. So everything's seated properly. I'm kind of excited for this knife, I ain't gonna lie. Um, Sonoran Sunrise is a really cool stone. I got some maybe three years ago when we first started two, three years ago. I can't remember now. But I got some and I was like, oh, that's a pretty stone. And there was still some around and stuff like that. And now I'm like, I need to get some Sonora Sunrise before I can't find no more. Uh, you can find some on eBay and stuff like that, but it's, you know, it's not necessarily the highest of quality. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying you got to be careful with how you do it. So, pretty excited for this knife to get done. Um, might, have to, might have to sand the blade itself. But right now, you do it one step at a time. Beautiful knife. Looking great. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to let this dry. And then we will come back probably tomorrow and go ahead and cut this up. So yeah, 
Um, while I got you here, uh, tell me what you think about Sonoran Sunrise. What do you think about the stone itself? Uh, what does it remind you of? It's a pretty unique stone. I, I really think it's a beautiful stone. So, yeah, put down in the comments below what you think about it. And also, if you haven't, remember to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out. And we will get back to the video. Hey guys, how's it going? So we got the Sonoran Sunrise here. I'm gonna try a new angle today, see if it helps out. What we're gonna do, go ahead and get this thing starting to cut. So sorry about the light being in the way. We will have the uh, new lights in the future. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about having to have the lights so up close for me to be able to see. The other grit wheels, it's not really that much of a problem. It's just that first one. So enjoy us going through the rest of the grits and then yeah, we'll be, I'll see you there. got to be one of my most favorite spots uh, in the in the process of grinding because now you're just really focusing on getting the scratches out of the stone and polishing it up on these last wheels and you're kind of seeing your finished project now but not quite finished if that makes sense so you're kind of getting excited you're like okay now we got the shape let's start getting this polished up let's start getting this looking nice and pretty All right, guys, so we got the Sonoran Sunrise here. We got the blade sanded down, so it should polish up pretty good. Pretty excited about getting this knife all the way done. We're gonna see if that Zam will help the Sonoran polish up better. Um, turquoise will polish up pretty good with um, Zam, so uh, we wanna see if the Sonoran will do it. And if so, then we got a better way to do it. This is also a very rare stone as we've talked about, but I got this stone from uh, Copper Canyon Lapidary. Uh, really good site, really good people. I'm, this is not a paid promotion in any way. I'm not getting any monetary gain out of this. Um, I just, they're friends of mine and I wanna make sure to give them a shout out because they've been good friends of ours for a long time now and they've kind of given me, given me helpful information on lapidary in general when I started out and they were very good people to me so we want to be very good back to them. Be sure to check out their website the link will be below but yeah this is not because we're getting anything monetarily out of this it's just because they're a good group of people and we want to help them out like they you know have been there for us. Well first let's make sure we got all of our pastes. Um, not see where my Zam is. But it could be hiding anywhere at this point. Yeah. Yeah, the my... Oh, there it is. Alright, so we got our knife, the Sonoran Sunrise. Make sure to put your mask on. You don't want none of that gunk 
getting in your throat or your lungs. It's a pretty important part, uh, I think, in the process when you're go doing a knife itself because if the stone cannot take the polish, you have to be very careful about how you polish up those brass bolsters. And uh, it could really ruin your stone if it's not the right polish. You know, it could take some luster and some shine off of it. Fortunately for us, it seems like the Sonoran Sunrise takes very well to the Zam and the three. I am pleasantly surprised with how it turned out and uh, I can't wait for you to see it, to be honest. that's it right there let's go get a look at this sucker in the sunlight holy crap guys this is an awesome knife you got the buck 110 polished up great you got the sonoran sunrise with the reds the blacks the blues they're all in there make sure to like share and subscribe put a comment below about what you think about the knife i hope you're as excited as i am about this and we'll see you next time